Yo, welcome back to another episode of uh, Mamba Moments, the Kobe Bryant uh, series for NBA 2K24. Little journey into Kobe Bryant's career. And guess what? We are on the last episode. Yes, s- seven episodes. We're on episode seven, NBA Finals Game Seven versus Boston. It's only it's only right. Um, so hey, this is the finale. Thank you for everyone that tuned in, checked out the episodes. Hey. Before I continue, let's make sure you like and comment down below, subscribe on, and put notifications so you know when we upload. And with that being said, let's get right into it. A will to win. NBA Finals Game 7, June 17th, 2010. In the most intense defensive battles in NBA Finals history, Kobe's trademark grit put some cut points down the stretch, but the Lakers over the top and earned him his fifth and final ring against Boston out of everyone. So, hey, good good end of his story. What do we, have to get, what do we got to do? Win the game. To grab 10 rebounds. We don't even got the score. We just got to grab 10 rebounds and hold Ray Allen under 15. 10 rebounds. Come on. Okay. Basically, play defense and hold Ray Allen under 15. I could it be like score a certain amount of points? Come on. Look at Staples Center. Where we will be crowning an NBA champion. I forgot Glenn Davis tonight. started here. We didn't have to shoot Wallace. And so off the tip, it's Boston. Hold on before we do anything. Defensive settings. Ray Allen automatically on Kobe. Smother. Deny ball. On ball screen, switch. Where's double team? On catch, yes. Double team on catch. These teams have traded blows. I'm proof. In a matchup that has been defined by defense and physicality. The refs have been letting them play, and baskets have been really tough. Yep, to we're going to Ray on face guard the whole time. Rondo, five on the clock. At his athleticism, the mobility, and I don't even got the score of Kobe. What the hell? To make himself dangerous in the pick and roll. Let's check out the starting five for Jock Rivers in the Boston Celtics. At the point, it's first time All Star Rajon Rondo with Ray Allen at the two. Paul I missed. Wow. Garnett, man, the forward spot. With Glenn Davis replacing the injured Kendrick Perkins at center. And the starters for Phil Jackson in the Los Angeles Lakers at the guard spot. It's the four-time champion, Derek Fisher uh, and Kobe Bryant. Defensive stopper Ron Artest in at the three with the versatile front line of yep, Lamont and Paul Gasol. I hit the pass to Gasol. Good pass, Kobe. From Gasol, one of the best Let's go. This feels wrong. Today. This feels very wrong. Uh, but for Kobe. Tremendous touch and seal around the rim. It's all right. And they double up Allen. Yep. Yep. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have to jump ball. Oh, yeah, we out. Kobe Bryant became the Lakers all-time leading score. And one. Let's go. Jerry West's previous record of over 25,000 points. And it all comes full circle. As you know, Jerry West was the one who traded for Kobe Bryant on draft night in 1996. So much to like about Bryant's game, but the X factor in my mind is his unmatched competitiveness and work. This guy has an inexhaustible appetite for work. Damn. That's a spot where you want to come. Send the message. And he sinks the second. Really hard not to respect the tremendous impact Garnett has on both ends of the floor. He plays with tremendous intensity in all situations. Ah, come on. Never gives Kobe. You less than 100% effort. Mike, the importance of the rebounding battle in tonight's game cannot be overstated. 
both these coaches have been preaching it all series long. It doesn't matter if you're a boss. They yep, give me that. Players boxing out and controlling the boards. Now here's Kobe following the miss by Paul. Let's go, Kobe. Bryant getting to the rack with force that time. Excellent on the drop. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Right side, Pierce. Over our chest. Boston. No yep, there you go. Lakers lead by four. Jacks up a three. Good on the triple. Good pass. Exactly this feels so rough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't like this, but I have to finish the story. Now here's Pierce, and right away they match it with a three-pointer of their own. How about the response? Wow! Right back at you. Good shot. Oh. Here's Kobe. Good work there as it goes. Yep, there you go, Kobe. That was an amazing shot. Wow, Paul Pierce. Like this, you better match his wow. Intensity level. When these two teams met in the 2008 Finals, the Lakers weren't able to force a Game 7. They got embarrassed in Game 6, losing by 39 Aww. points, which is the second largest margin of victory in Finals history. But that I left them open, that's on me. Boston is what motivated them to win it all last season. And, you know, I think they're still motivated to get their revenge, right? And the Lakers have one game to right the wrong. You can count on Fisher to find the open man. Excellent vision and IQ. Outside Pierce. And it goes down two points. Five points in the game. Love the intensity. Yep, as long as it's not Ray Allen, we have Gucci. The defense contain him inside. Here's Kobe. That's him. Again, the Lakers. The defense was certainly a little tardy in reacting to the step back there. Celtics trail by five. Now, let's send it over to David Aldridge for an injury update on the Celtics. Thank you, Kevin. Proceed, right? Today, a difficult day for the Celtics on top of losing game six to the Lakers. They also lost starting center Kendrick Perkins to oh, that was him. the NCL and PCL in his right knee. That will keep him out of game seven. That's him. Surely will be missed against the length of this Lakers team. Guys? You said it, David. Thank you. The Celtics are hoping somebody is going to step up in Perkins' absence. So the Celtics they get it. all time out there first. Kobe okay. Bryant really making a difference here. Just really a one-man wrecking crew down low. He's pretty much dictated the pace with the steady offense inside. And the timeout right now, probably going to be making some adjustments. <laughs> and the way yeah. some changes. Vujic <laughs> comes in for Odom. And it's Farmer in for Fisher. And then for Boston. Scalabrini is checked in for Davis. Allen oh, Scalabrini is in St. Louis! Robinson is subbed in for Rondo. Now, here is Robinson. Here's the screen. Oh, yeah. Boston needs to get off a shot. Allen for three. Since hitting an NBA Finals record, eight three-pointers in game two. Ray Allen is well, me. from beyond the arc, and man, is it showing now. Hey, we always hear about the Celtics' big three, Mike, but if anything... I think they're a big four. I'd be interested in your take on this. When you I forgot they had Ned Robinson. Rondo, who's been tremendous during these playoffs. Look at his numbers. 16, 9 assists, almost 6 boards and 2 steals. That's oh, let me. Team, He's actually out of two more points than Kevin Barnett. And just about the same as Ray Allen. And he's not even known for his scoring. They want to break this scoring drought, Mike. Well, they've had a lid over the basket for a while now. Indeed. Now the basket appears. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game. There we go. And so Bryant will bring it up for the Lakers. Leading by 12. He gets that one. From the opening whistle, their tempo has been the tempo of the game. Not just on offense, but on D as well. They've completely set the tone for this game. Fades back. Pierce Pierce. That's Damn. good on the assist by Robinson. Pierce has got his third basket of the night. As soon as his man broke free, Robinson hit it. No hesitation. The Celtics, 13.
The guys need six more rebounds. We are back in Los Angeles here in Game 7 of the NBA Finals and ready for some second quarter action. Lakers lead by 12. And in these finals, Mike, the Play team me. after the first quarter has won all six of these games. And in these playoffs, the first quarter winner has gone 61 and 18. Wow. That shows the importance of setting the tone right from the jump. It'll be interesting to see if that trend continues here tonight. That was absolutely his shot to miss. Plenty of room at the arc, all set up. Just couldn't get ah, it. Ah, come on. Celtics trail by 14. Allen outside. Back to Pierce. Allen outside. Yep, we are. Double up Allen. Here's Scalabrini. A basket good. Damn, off that's fine. From Allen. Scalabrini's got his first basket. I like that Allen. As long as it's not, you know who, we're good. Outside Bryant. With some arm. Maybe. Bryant bullies through. Early on, Mike, you can see that Bryant is intent on winning the rebounding battle. Kobe has carried over his effort from game six, and that's a great sign for the Lakers. Allen finds Pierce. Behind oh. the shot, and there are the Celtics with another basket. Love the mid-range shot of Pierce, man. It is so consistent and reliable and fundamentally sound. Easily gets it up. Now here's Bryant. And two points for him. Sinks the Shannon. Shot. Hey, I'm stating the obvious here, but he was very comfortable taking that shot. Not a defender in sight. Pierce feeling it out of it. Shoots over Brown. The shot by Pierce. Let's go. Five more rebounds. And the D got super lucky he didn't drain that one. Here's Bryant. Lay me. Bryant's got six here in this quarter. The handles Kobe has are outrageous. You can tell how much he loves creating for himself. Outside Pierce and Kobe Bryant. Gets oh, I forgot we could do that. That's his first foul. Gasol's checked in for the Lakers. The Celtics also changing it up. Garnett comes in for Scalabrini, and it's Rondo in for Allen. Outside Rondo, Celtics oh. passing it around. Just five on the clock. And the basket. Damn, Pierce. good move. Pierce has got 11 points. Well, Clark, a big reason for the Lakers' dominant performance in Game 6 was their bench production. And that bench was led by Lamar Odom, their second unit account. Josh Powell, wow. He was a catalyst for a lot of them. And the scoring attack Damn. was balanced. The Celtics, on the other hand, only got seven points from their reserve. There you go. Josh Powell epitomizes a Velcro guy, a guy that just kind of keeps things together. He plays so hard, provides good minutes at either forward spot, and he can play some fives, too. On our test, he's checked in for Brown. Garnett can't God damn it. get it to go. Lakers leading by 16. So when you look at the leading scores of these two get teams, Mike, Kobe Bryant and Paul Pierce, Bryant once again has the advantage. Kobe has outscored Pierce in every game this series. The Lakers rely on his scoring to win these games. Rondo, Powell with the steal. Here's Gasol. And hey! Gasol with the dunk. Love the selfish approach by Bryant. A willing passer when he sees someone open. And yeah, so I think these rebounds are going to be the toughest part. I can do everything else. Just are teammates now, Mike. But they had some battles for sure as opponents. They definitely had some chippy matchups and face got it. to face Thank altercations. You. They got into it multiple times in last year's conference semifinals when our test was a member of the Rockets. It resulted in a few technical fouls and a rejection for our test. But they work well as teammates and have bonded through their shared competitive fire. Outside Four more rebounds, Pierce. come on. And another miss by Damn. Boston. Almost. Here's Los Angeles now. They're on a 17-6 run. I hit the pass to Gasol. That's good. And it's Kobe with the assist. Bryant's got assist number eight now on the night. Offensively, time out, time out. things have sort of fallen apart for him. And Clark. they need to recover as soon as possible. Timeout, Doc Rivers. Mm -mm -mm. 
Kobe is in the zone. You can see it. Now a timeout called by Boston. Some changes for the Lakers. Odom, he's jacked in for Powell. And Derek Fisher is subbed in for Farmer. Substitution for your Lakers. Rondo against Fisher. The Fisher man. Rondo dishes to Garnett. This is it to Allen. Three pointer. Gets it to go. Damn. From beyond the arc. Let's go, Avalanche. Allen's got six. Hey, Mike, since coming into the league together in 1996, Derek Fisher and Kobe Bryant have been a productive backcourt parent. Four titles together, trying to make it five. Through their trials, they've developed a strong friendship and bond on the basketball court. And there's a level of trust between them that few teammates have. Here's Garnett following the basket by Kobe Bryant. No good from 11 Yep, feet. let's go. And now here comes Kobe leading the break and slam dunk by Odom. He brings the thunder. Odom ferocious on the attack. And it's Rondo with the ball for the Celtics. Pass to Garnett. He kicks it to Pierce. There's 48 seconds left now here in the second. Rocket six. Damn. Why would, oh, yeah, double team on catch. Eh, I'm okay with that. That high release point for Garnett really helps him. Feels like nobody can block his shot inside. Allen against Bryant. Right side Gasol. Damn. It's stolen by Rondo. Allen, right side. Count it. You Damn. You expect that kind of touch from a shooter of Ray Allen's caliber. Lakers leading by 22. That's eight? Okay. Bryant is doubled. Outside Odom. Fires the three. The that was a full bar, I'm pretty sure. Wow. You know, if they manage this clock the way they should, it could be the last possession of the quarter. That has to be Let's go, two more. Here. They want to have the final say in this quarter. And here's that's Fisher it. outside. And Fisher for three. And that's his first three-pointer of the entire series. He was 0 of 8 through 6 games. Oh, he almost made that. You know, our test well known for his defense. He's really gritty, strong, doesn't give up an inch, really makes his opponent work. And so it's Los Angeles holding a very comfortable 25-point lead as the quarter comes to a close. From the field, they have been outstanding, amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. We come back right after this. If I can't get two more rebounds with Kobe, that'd be sad. And a view of downtown L.A., a city that is anxiously awaiting the start of the third quarter. Welcome back to the Staples Center here in Los Angeles. We're one half closer to crowning this season's NBA champion. The Fisher man. And here are the Lakers. These are not only the two most storied franchises in the league. They're also okay, go dunk it, I guess. Just fade away. Well, Kevin, they're clearly a cut above everybody else in the league. The Celtics have won 17 titles in 21 appearances to the finals, while the Lakers have won 15 titles in 31 appearances. L.A. would certainly love to get a win here and move within one Damn. of Boston's all-time record. How about that for a flush? Garnett going up with confidence and packing a punch. Oh, my Lord. And Kobe lays it in. Kobe's got 28 points for the game. The teardrop, just a wonderful shot to have in your bag. And here's Rondo. No scoring in this one. Barnett outside. Pass to Allen. And they double up. Oh, shit. Four on the shot clock. Yep. Garnett, the pass to Pierce. I got it. Target from three Thank you. Range. Kobe has really set the tone in this one, Mike, with his... Lamey! His willingness to do the dirty work. He's leading this team by example. Here's Rondo. Garnett outside. Back to Rondo. Garnett with the screen for Rondo. Here's the floater. Nice D. Aw, oh, come on. Rondo is one of the best rebounding guards in the entire league. Even though he's only 6'1, he's got an incredible wingspan at 6'9 inches. So it's Boston now. 
Coach, they're ice cold on the offensive end. Well, something has to change. Garnett kicks to Ronda. Nice ball movement by Boston. To the middle. Here's Allen. And it's ah. Allen with the jam. For a wing, Pierce is a tremendous creator. Keeps his head up and looks for others. Now, let's hear from David Aldridge on the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. Maybe. Off season, the Lakers lost Trevor Reza to the Rockets. Now, he was a huge contributor in their championship run last year. But he wanted more money than the Lakers were offering. As a result, L.A. essentially made a swap with the Rockets by signing Ron Artest to a three-year, $18 million deal. Ron averaged 17 points per game last season with Houston, and he's embraced a smaller role here in L.A. Kevin? He has indeed, David. Great stuff. Thanks. Artest Clark has done a great job of defending Paul Pierce in this series. He has 12? Yeah, he damn. Has. I mean, he was brought here primarily for his elite defense. But L.A. also really needs Ron to space the floor and knock down some perimeter shots. Boy, it's been all Kobe all the time tonight. What a scoring machine. Now here's Rondo. Still scoreless. Honestly, at this point? Yeah. Three, Pierce. Wow. Drew Why? And that three almost went in. So he'll go to the line for three free throws. It's his first trip to the line. You know, in so many ways, Paul Pierce is just remarkable. I mean, his skill level is so high. I mean, he can outsmart defenders and really has the mechanics to score the ball from anywhere. How Gasol has looked very assertive, Mike, especially compared to the last time these teams met in the 2008 Finals when the Celtics bigs were able to get the best of them. Yeah, he only averaged 14.7 points in that series. And people even labeled him soft. But it's safe to say he has ditched that label over these last two finals appearances. He's put up 18 and a half points per game, 10.5 rebounds. Kobe Bryant. Now it's double team. There we go. Digit rebounds for the second consecutive game. He's doing whatever it takes. Outside Odo fires for three. Gasol passes to our chest. From deep, Bryant. They get it back. Odom finds Bryant. From the arc, Los Angeles with another miss. And you can bet he's going to keep taking these. Oh, no, we double team his ass. I don't give a damn if he score. That's fine. Outstanding execution. Good as long as Ray Allen don't inside. score, I'm happy. And coach, something you appreciate, the ball distribution has been hey. terrific in this one. Yeah, they've shown how efficient their offense can be when they're this unselfish. An interesting wrinkle in this year's finals is that Clark, both Phil Jackson and Doc Rivers have said there is no guarantee that they'll return to their respective teams next season. Well, you know, Kevin Rivers has said... That's fine. They're down by 24. That's fine. And for Phil, comes down to help. It's just not common to see that kind of uncertainty surrounding the two coaches in the NBA finals. So good with those redemption shots. Kobe coming right back. Between the last two finals MVPs, Pearson Bryant, Kobe Mike has really separated himself offensively. And the Lakers need every bit of it. He's gotten the better of Pierce all series. And the Celtics have still managed to push it to seven games. For three, Pierce. Good, it's Garnett with the assist that That's fine. time. Garnett's got his fourth assist in this one. To the inside, Gasol kicks to Fisher. Right side, our test. The pass to Odom. Sinks the three pointer. Odom's got seven. And defenses have to get out on Odom. Gotta at least honor his ability to sink threes. Rondo passes to Pierce. There's the triple. And again, Boston with the triple. One of the best ways to respond to a trifecta. Knock down one of your own. You fight fire with fire. Oh, come here. Allen against Bryant. Oh, my Lord. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Spin. That's fine. Wow, Paul Pierce. That is how you finish a play. Bryant looking it over. 
over Allen. And so it's Kobe Bryant making things happen for the Lakers. I had to. I had to end it like that. We're back here in LA for the okay. play in the NBA season has all come down to this. As the Celtics and Lakers strive for basketball immortality. Well, Mike, with 10 titles, Phil Jackson has already won more championships Damn. than any other coach in NBA history. And he's looking to get number 11 tonight. And don't forget, he's also got two as a player. So he could have 13 total championships at the end of the night. He's a fantastic leader who's had the luxury of coaching some of the best players of all time. Here's Allen. Again, the what? Okay, two. now can't score anything now. From touching the ball, Ray Allen, ready to fire. Good lord. Here's Bryant. And Boston with the rebound. Garnett's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Allen against Kobe. To the paint. That's fine. Let him score. Nice pass. Let him to the rack perfectly for the layup. That's a textbook example of how to move the ball. Oh, you got a Oh, my action. lord. Kobe Bryant has been relentless. Mike on the glass. Once again, he's showing unbelievable grit. Bryant has the heart and mind of a champion. And it's run or test with the foul. That's foul number two for him. How to solve. Yep, Check leave Kobe open. Lakers. Fuck it. Open leave. comes in for Vujicic. Pierce. That's fine. Leave him open. Odom grabs the board. Los Angeles leading by 18. Passes it to our test. Allen against Bryant. Kicks to Farmer. A three. The rebound by Garnett. Garnett's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. It's Allen on the wing. Pass to Pierce. Pierce has doubled. Five to shoot. Nobody near Allen. Boston. No good that time either. Uh. Here are the Lakers. Nothing doing offensively yet for them in the fourth. Gasol kicks it to Odom. Over Allen. That's good from Odom on the assist by Gasol. Tough to miss Powell Gasol. I mean, that guy attracts a lot of attention. Yep, from wide open. Now here's Allen. He's guarded close. Here's Scalabrini. Again, the miss by the Celtics. It's been a one-sided affair for sure. It is obvious and clear. Oh, let me. And that's 43. Ron Artest, a willing passer, does a good job that time of surveying the floor and making the right play. Take the people out. Come on. Take them out. <laughs> Please. You know what time it is. Derek Fisher's checked in for Jordan Farmer. Glenn Davis has checked in for Boston. Pondo comes in for Allen. Substitution on court. Yep, yeah, wide open. That's fine. Yep, shoot wide open, please. A good corner shooter. Pierce nails it. And so Bryant will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Oh my lord. The 19 point lead. 45 points for him. I like that they're putting in the work trying to build this lead out because in the NBA, no lead is safe. Here's Pierce with the drive. Yep. He can't jam it through. Amazing tenacity attacking the basket there. I'm sure he won't miss that the next time he gets that chance. Back to Fisher. Kobe, this is to Fisher. That one drops for him. Good nice good strength good. and focus from Fisher that time because he got hit on that shot. Fisher's gone two or three from the floor. A fisherman. Rondo passes to Garnett. Here's Pierce. Moves back up. A rebound by Kobe Bryant. Kobe's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Make it 47 points right now. Playing well on both ends of the floor, stifling defense and dangerous O. That's a heck of a combo. That's what has built this lead. Garnett with a screen on Fisher. Rondo with it. Guarded now by Lamar Odom. Pierce That's fine. Wide open. He fires. No good with the triple. Here's the Lakers with the ball. 
It's Bryant high post working on Allen. Outside Bryant shot clock at six. Over Allen and Davis pulls it down. Inside, yeah, that's fine. and a great assist by Allen as that one goes in. Great ability to work inside. Pierce finding a way. Kobe against Allen. Hold the ball. Yep, hold Bryant the ball. Outside. Hey. Hey. Fader on the way. Yep, hold that ball again. Bryant is doubled. Pass to Odom. Yep, let's go. Yep, we holding this ball forever. Back to Kobe. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. Count the basket. You know, Fish is only 6'1", but he's well built. About 200 LB, so D. Fish knows how to create some space for himself. And that's an intentional foul. Why'd well, they foul there? Let it go. Time and score. You have to be aware of both. 40 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And so they foul intentionally. Paul Pierce did not have a free throw attempt in game six. Guys, he made sure to smart. get the line in this one. First yep, smart. Two, yep, we hold the clock. Let's get it. And both free throws. Go yep, I don't need no Ray Allen bullshit to go in. Yep, we are playing smart. There's 37 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Fisher dishes to Bryant. Oh, no. No, 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 Allen defending. Two seconds separating the shot clock. Oof. Six to shoot. Five, four, three. Bryant high post. Off the mark with the outside fadeaway. Let's go. Oh, Los Angeles Lakers repeat as champions. Ah, I don't want to hear that. On the Boston Celtics. The legendary performance of Kobe Bryant. He left it all on the court. Leading his team over a stack Celtics. We'll take it though, I guess. And Bryant once again proving that his will to win is second to none. You got that right. It's his mentality and toughness that makes him special and takes him over the top. He fought through a number of injuries on this title run and now winning his fifth NBA championship. What a journey. Good, Good for you, Kobe. We'll see you next time. Fourteen. Oof. That. Oof, 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 oof. Yeah, fourteen. If he would have made one more three or or one more field goal, then GGs. We'll take it. Okay, let's go, stars. We like that. So I need the canes. Okay. So, hey, that is the end of the episode. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in to the series. You know, Kobe Bryant, one of the most well-known players of all time, one of the most competitive players of all time. As a Celtics fan, definitely one of our biggest rivals. A tragic event that happened that took not only his life, but his family and others. So, hey, thank you, Kobe Bryant, for all the memories, all the quotes, uh, giving us reasons to work harder so with that being said thank you for tuning in make sure you like and comment down below subscribe put a notification so you know we upload and with that being said mamba out deuces